As you look at me now, I'm back to being who God wanted me to be as a man. And it doesn't really matter what I got between my legs because uh, no one's going to see it anyway. And uh, I, I've been reading my Bible every day and all I could hear was God saying, well, you really need to go back to being who I made you. And your story is great, but just don't do it as a girl because you're not a girl. And I know that. It just tears me up to think that 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 I did all this and uh, I, I was a phony, I was a fraud, but I tried pulling it off. And, and, and people, people called me ma'am and, and, and she and her and, you know, I had my long hair. I didn't wear much makeup. As you can see, I got lip liner, I had the eyebrows tattooed, which now I got to live this way, but it's a great testimony. And uh, I just want to try to help someone else before they make the same mistake I did. Everybody I told I was getting a sex change and blah blah blah. They all said, "Oh, if that's what if that's what you think is right, then go ahead and do it." You know, if you, if you, if you feel good, feel good about it. You know, if that's what you want, go go do it. And uh, how can that happen when you're supposed to be accountable for your brothers and sisters and help them out, according to what I read? And uh, they didn't do it. They did not do it. And to this day, they thought I was going to be a disgrace to them. That's why they didn't do anything. They just told me to, there's the door. I said, okay, you know. But I always thought I needed to be important. And that, that's another reason, all the tattoos and the, the piercings. I thought, uh, oh, I'm going to be somebody someday. Uh, I want to be famous, you know. But now, I do want to be famous. But I want to be famous for God. And I want to, I want to take everybody down the path that needs help. Please listen to this because... Without the Lord, you'll have nothing. You'll have nothing. You know, he's the, he's the vine and we're the branches. And uh, we can do nothing without him. But the whole thing is why most people will not go to any of these things because it's all about the embarrassment. You are so embarrassed with what you've been doing that you can't tell anybody that. And that's what I kept a secret for all those years. I couldn't tell nobody. I was too embarrassed. But you have to stop. You have to stop and, 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 and get help because... You're going to destroy your life. You're going to destroy the life of your, of your friends, your spouse, your, whoever it may be, because this is the worst thing that I think that, 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 that anybody could do is, is get involved in the, the sex uh, industry or business or, or whatever. It, it destroyed me, but praise God, uh, I'm set free now, and I'm happy as can be. I am so happy. It's uh, overjoyed, you know, because my life now is like over the top. I have nothing, but I have everything, if that makes sense, because I have Jesus.